So today I am in Capitol Reef National Park and this is a pretty cool area. These are the Euler mines over here, the Euler uranium mines. And these uranium mines were, I believe, first started in 1941, which is funny because it's actually before the whole uranium boom. But uh, there was a lot of fighting and squabbling over these mines because uh, in 1949 the government subsidized uranium mining and so there was like a huge push to mine this area and this uh, area showed like some of the most promise for uh, like, you know, decently high grade uranium. But they fought over it and fought over it and uh, they mined other places in the park, but uh, never this one, never any more than what they already dug. It just uh, sat in litigation forever. And yeah, now the mines are still here and they're decently radioactive. So let's go check them out, see what they're all about. Okay, so behind me are the Euler uranium mines. Now these are probably some of the easiest uranium mines to get to inside of a national park. Cause right now I'm inside Capitol Reef and all you have to do is just, like just take this trail from the road, which is like maybe 500 feet to get to these uranium mines. But I'm gonna walk over there, show you how radioactive it is and kind of just poke the camera into the bat gate because there's no way of getting inside of here. They've blocked off all of the mining adits around here. So, but they have bat gates. So you can actually like look inside of the mines, but they, they kept them open just enough so bats could still roost in there. But anyway, let's go check them out. Yeah, it doesn't look like it goes in that far. Unless there's some other little offshoot or that's where they sealed it is down that direction. But as I understand it, they didn't mine this area too extensively. So I brought the Radicode 101 out here too to kind of trace out where the radiation is in this area. And yeah, like right here I'm getting around 2.25 microsieverts an hour. The dental x-ray I believe is 5 microsieverts an hour. So if you stay here for 2 hours, you get about a dental x-ray worth of radiation. So I've seen this thing go a little bit higher than 70 microsieverts an hour uh, for exposure. And it's only in this one little spot right here. So if you were to curl up into that little spot for an hour, you get 70 microsieverts of radiation exposure. But the, the catch is, is that only that one portion of your body would get that dose 
from the radiation coming out of these rocks here. Because it's not a full body dose, it'll just be like to your torso or to your hand or your face or whatever uh, body part you happen to have uh, sticking inside of there. So I'm just uh, grabbing a quick uh, gamma spectrum of the uranium ore that's inside of this rock here. So I'm just gonna look at the energy levels of gamma radiation coming in and it'll tell me what elements are inside of there. It's kind of a cool little tool to have uh, in your pocket. So now I'm gonna head over to the other uranium mines that are part of this Euler uranium mining area, or at least I think they are, I mean, they're all in the same area. And I think the Euler area, the Euler uranium mining area in Capitol Reef actually encompasses 80 acres. Uh, that was under litigation for so long that they just never uh, did any further mining than what you see back here, than these adits, and there's like a couple more that are over here too that we're gonna go check out. So what's really interesting about this uranium deposit here is that you can actually follow this line of where it looks like they were mining. It's like kind of like light colored soft stone. And if you come over here, you can actually trace out more uranium that's closer to, uh, you know, into this like spillway, this like, you know, wash. So this deposit of uranium just keeps on going down this way until it eventually just disappears into the wash. So they could probably like mine if they wanted to, if they could, into this area and just keep following this deposit of uranium. But since this is now a well-known national park, or kind of well-known, um, I don't see them doing any more uranium mining here in the foreseeable future. All right, now I'm gonna go head up to these other uranium mines that are a little further up the wash. Well, it looks like there's actually uh, three addits <laughs> to get to. Uh, looks like I could maybe only get to two of them. Uh, we'll see how the Hulk goes. I can't imagine there being anything too exciting. I mean, I can't go inside any of them. But uh, I know I'm definitely gonna go to this one. And maybe the one on the very right-hand side over here. We'll see if that actually happens. wind is not helping. Okay, it's time to go first the way. This is kind of a, a little bit of a sketchy part here. So if I don't film out all of it, don't cry too hard about it. Closer. Uh, this cl this crumbly rock is some of like the worst stuff to encounter. It's just, like super unpredictable. Yeah. Hmm. All right. 
made it. That was uh, it's just kind of a shaky climb. You know, I know some people, oh, it's really easy. Yeah, try doing it one handed and carrying a camera. This one doesn't appear to be very radioactive. Not like the lower one. All right, now it's time to make my way back down. This is gonna be a little more tricky, I think. Usually going up is a little easier than going down, in my experience. With that said, I probably won't film this, or maybe I should in case I do fall. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Woo. All right, time to get up there. But this time, I think I'm just gonna teleport. Wasn't that easier? <laughs> You can see towards the back of this adit that it looks like they might have been hitting that really dark colored uranium ore. Maybe. Hard to tell all the way from back here. Not that radioactive for this one either. Not compared to the lower mine. Man, this wind. It's kind of my greatest enemy making these videos is the elements. <laughs> wind is one of them. Well, I hope you enjoyed a look at the Capitol Reef National Park oiler uranium mines. These are pretty cool. I wouldn't really suggest coming up to these upper ones. These are pretty difficult to get to. The lower one is much more accessible. You can just pull right up there, park, and walk about 500 feet, and you're there at the uranium mine. So I'd like to thank Radicode for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to pick up a Radicode 102, I was using the 101 in this video, but uh, I use the 102 all the time. I carry it around with me in my pocket just to let me know in case I run into anything radioactive. It's pretty handy. Uh, but go to the link at the bottom of the screen here or in this video's description to pick one up. And I'm actually out on location right now running the Oppenheimer 70mm film print. I'm also a projectionist every once in a while. And so a video is coming about that whole process about what it took to get uh, this film ready and what it looks like when it's running. So anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video about the Euler Mines and I'll see you in the next one.